Good morning, hello to Yap Tips. Are you excited to see how our oats from yesterday look today? Let's have a look. Let me uncover them for you. Can you see how beautifully colorful they are and how the seeds expanded in the water now? So we're gonna add some yogurt to this. Just a generous spoonful will do. And then we'll mix this up. As you can see, the boring oats from yesterday are now quite colorful and they look quite appetizing already, but let's see what we can achieve with some fruit. I usually take seasonal fruit, so in winter it's usually an apple and maybe a grapefruit or an orange or some kiwi. And as I am currently in Shanghai, we have seasonal, seasonal fruit is um, pink uh, dragon fruit. I'm going to add that. Then we have some peach. And some mango. Doesn't this look wonderful and appetizing? Wouldn't you want to have a bite of this right now? Um, in order to get enough protein, of course, we also have two scrambled, egg, two scrambled eggs each. And um, I, I'll make them up later then. Um, this is a wholesome breakfast. Of course, you could also have some wholemeal bread um, with a little bit of jam on it or honey. Um, it, will make, it will keep you filled for the rest of the morning and you will feel energized. Talking about energized, um, I would like to present you these wonderful little chocolate balls that I made. They are um, deliciously energizing in the afternoon. And just so you remember that eating healthily is not all about um, frugal and let's be boring. No, no, not at all. These are chocolate and um, banana and flaxseed and um, chia seed. So I'm going to show you the recipe in the comment section later. But these will keep you um, fed in the afternoon as a healthy snack with your coffee, with your tea or whatever you're having when you feel like you need to pick me up in the middle of the afternoon or mid-morning of course or in the middle of the night. So let's talk about some other aspects of a healthy freelancer lifestyle. For example, um, one other issue is that we often just work and sleep and we don't do anything else. So it's very important to also take some time off, take some time to just enjoy free time with your family, with your friends, um, with your loved ones, and um, to cultivate a kind of lifestyle where work is just one part. Um, of course, this isn't easy because, as you know, um, we all suffer from feast and famine. So sometimes we have a lot of work and then sometimes we have no work at all. And of course, when you have no work at all, it's all that easy. You go out with friends and have a fun afternoon. But if you are really, really busy, it's very um, hard to just say, OK, I'm just going to leave it all here and continue tomorrow. Of course, sometimes it's not possible to leave it all here and, and, and continue tomorrow. But then um, you, should, you should try to plan ahead. So what I do, for example, is I plan my week ahead on Sundays. I take an agenda and I sort of look at it and think, mm, where do I do what project that I already have confirmed? And then every evening I do the same for the next day. And the next day I plan it in half hour slots. So every project um, can be split into half hour slots and I should reach X amount of words in that half hour slot. I also plan in when I go to the gym, when I cook, when I eat, when I spend time with friends or when I just simply do nothing. That way um, it's a bit less uh, tempting to just 
keep working or to just waste time on on Facebook or any of the social media because the thing is with social media it's great you can just go to whatever um, page and look at silly cats or uh, cute cats for that matter um, but it, it, it makes you waste a lot of time so if you plan and you want to reach the goal X by whatever time and you've wasted the last half hour on Facebook probably you're not going to reach the goal and then you're going to be delayed with everything of course you have to make reasonable goals so if you know that this is it's absolutely impossible uh, to reach that goal don't set yourself goals that you can't reach it makes no sense that way also you can see if a new client or a, a standing client has sent you a new project um, you can see if it still fits in for their proposed deadline or if you need to reject or, or suggest a new deadline. I often do this, um, I, I, I suggest a new deadline because I can see it won't fit in right now because my, my, my schedule is full. Or I try to juggle around with the other projects that are maybe taking longer and I think okay maybe if I do whatever I was going to do today, tomorrow and then I can still fit their project in today. But I think planning is where it all starts, so you should um, take a moment every day to, to plan ahead. Also remember to plan in your administrative tasks, your, your invoicing, all of that. We all that often forget that it's also part of freelancing, but if you don't get paid, it's, you know, it's a waste of time what you're doing. Um, another thing that is uh, deep to my heart is try to take time to relax. Um, just as much as we take time to do, to do exercise and maybe go to the gym or we go running or whatever, um, we should take time to just relax, to do nothing. Um, so I have learned to meditate and I think that it's a great, great, op a great opportunity for all of us to just settle our mind down because translation and especially interpreting our, our um, tasks that keep our mind very, very busy and it's very hard to switch it off uh, at times. So even though meditation does have or still have this ring to it where everyone thinks it's just like uh, some guru-ish thing, um, it's not. Um, luckily more and more people realize the benefits it brings you and uh, how good you can feel afterwards and how calm you feel afterwards and um, how, how your anxiety has gone away. So um, if you think about it, for example, the, the people from Solar Impulse, they just they, they were meditating because they couldn't sleep for long hours on the airplane. Um, so they had to meditate in order to keep their mind focused and, and, and switched on. So why don't you learn to meditate? There are fantastic apps nowadays that you can just download to your smartphone and I'm sure that anywhere you are there are also great courses to learn to meditate. Remember it's not just about guru uh, things, it's actually it will make you feel good. Another thing that I like to show you is this foam roller. Um, They've become quite popular recently and at first I was a bit reluctant to, to try them on but, but I, do, I do suggest you get one, especially because we sit all day. And as part of your stretching routine, just roll a bit um, on it. There's, usually they come with, an, with instructions um, how to use, so, so I suggest you get one of these. And another thing um, you can get one of these blocks for when you think that your stretching is maybe not uh, up to par yet. Um, it helps you to reach uh, the, the goals earlier. So for example, if you are stretching to the front, instead of just going straight down, you can just relax on the block like this or even like this. And it will it, um, get you to your goals slowly but steadily. Of course, other options are bands like these. They also help you to improve your stretching, but you can also use them to, to exercise because they have a certain resistance. So um, if you can't, don't have time to go to the gym, 
you can get either um, small weights or um, these bands, these resistance bands, and you can do some exercises with these um, just on a daily basis. Um, so I hope with this that I have uh, helped you to think about your current lifestyle and think what you can improve. And if you have any questions, just send me an email or um, comment in the comment section. I will still um, post the, the, the recipe that I promised and yeah, thank you for listening.